the River Valley Garnet Mine. This is Andy here. He's found a little bit of schist around that rock. Yeah, if you peel it all back, you'll find more. Oh, look at that. Let's take it home. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but underneath, look, there's one right there in the dirt. Yeah, and right above it, sorry, right there, yeah. So there you go, literally on the surface underneath a rock, he's pulling them up. Good job, bud, keep going. Yeah. We'll go see Cecilio over here. <laughs> it's loaded, he says. River Valley Garnet Mine. Um, it's on a claim owned by New Age Metals. So you have to get permission to come on the, in here to get garnets. Cecilio has been here for 20 minutes or so, give or take. Give or take. And that's what he's already got. And you can't see it, but there's about 20 flies oh. at least. I haven't even hit hard rock yet. No, and he's just going through the loose stuff right on the surface, and that's what he's found so far. They don't look too great when they're muddy, but when you clean them up, there are going to be some beautiful colors in there. And like, look at this guy. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Nice. Perfect shapes. Rough garnets are gorgeous. Yeah, he's, he's literally just pulling them out of the dirt. They've flaked off over time. Over on the other side, we got some people with uh, the tools necessary to get into the harder rock. All right, I'm gonna take my coffee, and my stuff. I'm gonna go over that way. I spotted a spot. Dustin's up here. We'll go up and see how he's doing. Uh, like I said, we've been here 20 minutes. We legged it back and forth with the tools. It's a good uh, five minute walk maybe into the bush. This is the pile of what I've found so far. Okay, here's what he's pulling out. So there's a nice garnet there. Uh, that one's reasonable too. Some deeper and I'm lots of, oh look at that little guy there. That one's really dark. I'll look over here a moment. I've gotten a bit deeper. I'm seeing what I think is more mica and some other shiny stuff. Okay, the mica just uh, if it's near the surface, it's generally weathered enough it'll flake off when you scrape it. And it's there's more of it. That's that's the bedrock itself. It may have some in it. But like here, that's been hit with something. Yeah. And there's some mica on the surface. So you're probably not in the prime spot to get lots of them. Somewhere, like if you go over and look at what Cecilio's got there. This is Dustin, by the way. If you go over and look at what Cecilio's got in 20 minutes. Now we, we, we haven't had that long. There's one there too. It could be a rock. Um, you'll see what I mean. He's pulling out a ridiculous amount and the reason is it's right on the edge of a rock but the rock rounds off much faster so the weathering is not coming down on such a grade. It's coming down harder and the stuff's just falling off over there. All right. So you need either A, a place with a little more schist uh, a vein of it, a small pocket, or B, a, a stronger drop off. Now I started working right there, was it? Yeah, yeah, I can see the four garnets I got on the rock right here. So that's a stronger drop out. If you work right above me, actually, see that spot up there where that big rock is? Yeah. And work your way down underneath that stuff, you'll probably find more. All right, so here we are. Okay, so this is the type of stuff we're bumping into. It's literally just a wash from the rocks. Anything that would have come out on, on its own or with uh, help from trees turning up and stuff ends up in the surface stuff here. And looks like this. There's one there. And he just pulled it right off the surface after cleaning the leaves. And we're finding that's the, the theme here. Either it's in the schist and it's corroded, or it's in the schist and it's reasonable, or it's right on the surface like this. And um, a lot of Cecilios are coming out of the ground looking really sharp because the ground is keeping them dry, I guess. Yeah. You know, so we're getting some 
stuff that when it's all cleaned up is going to look really good. There's a beautiful little cluster there. There's like three of them and it's flat on that side. That's wild. <laughs> this one's right in the schist. That, look at how dark. That's dark, man. Yeah. There's lots. Of, there's. I found one earlier. Oh, there it is. Look at that thing. Isn't that crazy? There's one, two, three, four, five. Five of them. That one's unusual. And they are out here. They're just one in a hundred. <laughs> he just did his walk out. Okay, so there's some water. Was there another jug? Yeah, the other jug had the water that gets poured in this one, so you get ice cold water. Now he's like, oh, I gotta walk all the way back out. So Andy just found a nice little one up here, so he's gonna do some check. That's one of their drill holes, just right above the pit. Found another one further down that way. And you can see right here, there's a garnet, it's weathered. There's a couple, someone's picked out of here somewhere. Another one. One here. Here. Little baby one. Another one there. They're all throughout this uh, bedrock. And when you go further, oh, sorry, up here and to the right, the ridges above are right loaded with it as well. So it's quite something. People have sampled all the way along here. We came in, and the uh, hope was to find a schist vein that was hard enough to keep the granites clean and in good shape, but soft enough we could chisel our way into it. And uh, Cecilio turned around and <clears throat> walked over to that spot that he's in right there, straight ahead. And he's been at that same hole ever since. And he's found one of the best spots because what he's got in the rock there it is a ton of garnets. All through here. Garnet, 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 garnet. Look at it. There's like 50 of them showing right in this area. And when he worked his way down into this vein, that's where he was finding them. They're all flaking right off. Some of them he's picked out, but most of them are flaking off. So, so far, he's at just a hair under a half a bucket. So, I'll throw those three in there. Dustin found a new spot. <coughs> he found a beauty over there. Andy, how you doing with that spot? Good. Yeah. Good. Oh. Not well pulled out of the rock. Oh, that's a nice one. Big. Yeah. Really big. <laughs> oh, it's rolling downhill. It's an escapee. I'll go get it. Oh, well, it's about 5 p.m. We've been at this for six or seven hours. See those are mostly cleared out of there, the good ones. I found a few over here. Dustin found some nice ones, really nice ones in there. And then a whole bunch more over there. And Andy's got about a third of a bucket from up there. And another spot he was at over in a rock there. Uh, this is Cecilio's. He's got oh, some serious garnets in this stuff. And a whole pile of actual garments. And we're going to pack it in. Because that's enough for one day. <laughs>